Hey everyone and welcome. There's a new system that's going to come online. A uh, financial one. In a time of crisis, it will be called the answer. We're talking about a total collapse to your economy. A group of white hat hackers have exposed a new financial system, stroke credit social scoring system, that segregates society around the world. I think we all need to know about this one, everyone, so pay attention. Now, white hat hackers, if you didn't know already, are effectively IT consultants brought in by European governments to stress test new systems for them, i.e. try to find back doors and security issues, etc. Well, they've actually been looking and doing the work of a CSRQ-SM system and have released a whistleblowing video about this system that's been brought in, about the Great Reset and Financial Reset, that I'm going to show you. Now, this information, everyone, is a bit of a rabbit hole. There's a lot of information here, so it'll take some time to get through. So I'm going to probably do it in a few parts. Firstly, part one will just be the IT consultants, i.e. the white hat hackers, words and revelations. This is the video that they've produced. Then in the next video, we'll take a look into the conversation between these hackers and just how dark and evil and secret all of this is. And then in part three, we'll find out more about the class system that it utilizes that will divide us into haves and have nots with massive restrictions on us, the have nots. Let's watch the video, shall we? There's a new system that's going to come online. Uh, financial one. In a time of crisis, it will be called the answer. We're talking about a total collapse to the economy. They're going to let everyone suffer for a while. Could be a few months, maybe a year. People will be scared, desperate. Grip lines, gas lines, collapsing, dollar. Cash will go away. Currencies will go away. Trading assets, gone. Crypto, gone. They'll flip the switch basically overnight. That's certainly no way out of it. We have the software. We have access. We can see all of it. How it's done. How it works. It's a two-tiered system. One for me and you. And one for them. They will actually get richer from all of this much richer. We can see inside the software, we can see that they have sections for deductions, privileges, social data, this new currency, the USDR. We can see in real time, they are moving crypto, cash, bonds, into the new digital currency. So the elites get to do this, but the average person won't get that chance. We see inflows. We see money coming in. They are getting a very favorable conversion rate of 1 to 43, 1 to 42. It varies around there. What they're going to offer as a solution is a type of guaranteed income per month, but not a lot. There will be some sort of store tied to it. If you misbehave, there goes your money. Now what? Their AI and modeling shows people will comply. We see these different classes. Class C, Class S, Class R, Class Q. They're very limited. They are very restrictive. The celebrities, the media, the government, they are all Class S or sovereign. They have no restrictions, no backs requirement, unlimited asset and capital ownership. No section for fines like the other classes. They are exempt. Their asset limits are exempt. Their vaccination status is exempt. They don't have to have a carbon credit score. They are exempt from that. The whole thing is so much like the pandemic. Stir up the fear, put people in top position, then offer the solution. This is a rinse, repeat of that, but we're seeing something different here. Very disturbing. With the vaccines, they sort of gave you a choice. With this, we are not seeing a choice at all. You can't opt out of this new banking and currency system at all. It also requires vaccination too. If you don't like how there are special classes you're not in, what are you going to do? 
If you protest so much as make a peep online, then boom, they take 50, 100 out of your limited bank account instantly. It will all be tracked, monitored, no escape. Everyone will talk about their social credit score the way we talk about sports or celebrity gossip now. It will be the central feature of your identity. That's what they want. You will be Class C, Common, or Class R, Restricted, or worst of all, Class Q, Quarantined. No cash, no assets, no freedom of speech, and you will have a vaccination requirement. It's interesting that they use the word sovereign. That feels like our word, and they took it from us. That's the class you want to be in. The one that offers all the freedom. There won't be a single patriot with a class S or sovereign designation. Not a single one. That leaves us powerless when this goes online. They know that. So we either act now, or we will be fined, punished, and eventually eliminated. They know who you are, who you voted for, where you live, how many guns you have, how much food you bought, everything you posted online. And that's why you are going to be class common, restricted, and worst of all, quarantined. The truth is, I think people instinctively know this, is the canned beans and guns won't save you. The bad guys are too powerful. They have tanks, Apache helicopters, and willing foreign troops who will bulldoze your homestead. There's no way to stop what's coming. The collapse will happen. The economy will crater. It will be catastrophic. Then this system will come online. There will be no way out of it. Now, we've already seen what WEF at Davos were talking about. They were talking about exactly this sort of thing. And you've also seen there that the monetary system that they're talking about using is actually in place and is backed by Lloyds of London for insurance purposes, which means it's well established, doesn't it? Let me know what you think. I'd like to know your opinion on this one. Do you think that this is true? Do you think it's wrong? Do you think that this couldn't happen. It is a very worrying situation, isn't it, everyone? Keep your ear to the ground. We may be in for dark times. Stay sane. I'll see you on the next one.